How's it going everybody? You're watching Danibal Tech and today I've got an amazing video for you. I'm gonna tell you everything I know about the new iPhone, the iPhone 11, which will be released at the end of the year. And trust me, there is a lot to talk about. Keep in mind that everything I'm gonna talk about in this video are only rumors, okay? They are pretty much confirmed rumors, that's why I decided to make this video. They are pretty much 100%, but we will only know for sure at the end of the year when Apple officially releases their new iPhone. Since we don't have specific information regarding the iPhone 11 or 11 Plus, Max, or if there will be two different iPhone sizes or three different iPhone sizes, we don't have specific information regarding the size, I'm always gonna say iPhone 11 in this video as a general thing. So let's start talking about design. More specifically, let's talk about cameras. So as we know, the iPhone 10, 10s, and 10s Max, they all have two cameras, a normal camera for general use and a telephoto camera, which is the zoom lenses they take photos uh, with the two times zoom but with the iPhone 11 we're gonna get three cameras we're gonna get a third one in this third one although it's not 100% confirmed it is probably gonna be a wide angle camera so you're gonna get that kind of GoPro feeling you know like when you take a photo with a GoPro is a very wide angle so then you're gonna get more content more image out of one photo you have that on other smartphones like the Galaxy S10 and this is probably coming to the iPhone 11 as well. And since we're talking about the camera module, there is a huge debate right now because some leaks uh, lead to the fact that all this camera model, this whole camera model is going to be blacked out. So it's going to be uh, black painted. There's going to be a black tint like a car window tint, something like that. So it's going to be black and we won't be able to see uh, the lenses themselves. So we're going to have this stealth look. And all their leaks tend to the fact that it's gonna be completely different. And instead of having this black tint, it's gonna be the all the way around. The camera module is gonna be body colored. And that's a huge design difference because uh, with this second option, you're gonna have the camera module painted the same color as the iPhone. So if it is a black iPhone, a space gray is gonna be black, space gray. If it is a white one, the camera module is actually gonna be white. And if it is a gold iPhone, it is gonna be gold. And yeah, so you're gonna have uh, the camera module painted the same color and you're gonna have the camera lenses, the three circles painted black. So you're gonna have a very distinctive design. Uh, everyone that looks at that phone is gonna know it's an iPhone because no one in the industry is doing that. But it's a different design, not everyone likes it. I'm not 100% sure if I like it. Still talking about the back of the iPhone, rumors suggest that we're gonna see even more changes. So with the iPhone 11, we're gonna have a single glass panel, which means that we're gonna see one, sh one sheet of glass covering the whole back of the iPhone. So it's gonna cover the back, plus it's gonna cover the camera module as well. So it's gonna be one sheet of glass covering the whole thing instead of today's design with the, with the iPhone, even with the iPhone 8, 10, 10s, and 10s Max, which you have two different parts. You have one glass panel covering the back, and then you have the camera bump, and then another uh, glass uh, sheet, another small piece of glass covering just the camera module. Now, still so talking about design, the iPhone 11 is gonna be a little bit thicker, it's gonna be a little bit fatter, and that's to accommodate a slightly larger battery, which is awesome, we all want that. So a larger battery means we're gonna have more battery life, we're gonna have more battery out of our phones, and also because we're gonna have a new feature called bilateral charging. Uh, again, the Galaxy S10 and other smartphones uh, already have that and what is bilateral charging uh, that's the fact that your iPhone can actually charge other devices uh, wirelessly so if you have AirPods for example you can place the AirPods on the back of the iPhone 11 and it is going to charge the the AirPods using the iPhone 11 battery so uh, because of this the iPhone battery is going to get a little bit thicker not only for the phone but to the fact that it can actually charge other phones and this is probably going to work with uh, two iPhones so if you have an iPhone 11 and an iPhone 10 or an iPhone 8 or another iPhone 11 for example and you touch them back to back maybe you're going to be able to charge uh, the other device. You're gonna select it and then you're gonna send juice from the iPhone 11 to the new one. So that's very neat, that's very interesting and that's very nice. Still talking about design, we have another change. This is a minor change but it's quite interesting. So 
uh, if, you, if you're familiar with the evolution of the iPhone, you know that every single iPhone, ever since the iPhone 1, which is this one, the first iPhone, uh, the mute switch hasn't been touched. It hasn't changed. So as you guys can see here, this is the first iPhone, the iPhone 1, and the mute switch is exactly the same as newer iPhones. So it is a horizontal uh, switch. You flip it uh, to the left and to the right, and then as you guys can see, uh, like this and on the new iPhone with the new iPhone 11 this is the design they're gonna adopt so the iPhone 11 uh, mute switch is gonna change and it's gonna be vertical just so you can have a fresher look I kind of like this change now I'm gonna talk about some things that will not change regarding the design so uh, we're still gonna get probably the same colors uh, we haven't heard any rumors regarding new colors and uh, the glass design is probably still gonna remain so for those of you who don't like the glass back for any for any reason uh, that this is gonna continue because especially because of the wireless charging and because of the bilateral wireless charging that I've just mentioned another change that we were expecting but it's definitely not gonna happen is the change to USB-C so the iPad Pro now uses USB-C as we all know uh, it switched from uh, lightning to USB-C but we are not gonna see that with the iPhone 11 probably only next year in 20 20 so we're still gonna use lightning to charge our iPhones which is kind of a bummer because with USB-C uh, you open a whole new world of accessories and this is just so much better to be completely freed from lightning because it's so expensive and restricting and now the most disappointing thing about this whole video about this whole iPhone 11 leaks is the fact that we're not gonna see pretty much any changes in the front of the iPhone 11. So regarding the display, the notch, and the bezels, they are gonna be pretty much identical to the iPhone 10, 10s, and 10s Max. So apparently we're gonna have slightly slimmer bezels, but they're gonna be one to 2% slimmer. So honestly, nobody will be able to tell the difference between uh, the bezels of older uh, iPhones and the new iPhone 11. And uh, uh, apparently the bezels, uh, the bezel uh, on top is actually gonna be a little bit slimmer as well. But again, uh, Apple won't even probably mention that. This is not gonna be a marketing selling point because it is just so, so small. It is such a tiny difference that probably we won't gonna be able to tell. So to make it simple, if you look at an iPhone XS and an iPhone 11 from the front, you just look at their displays you're not gonna be able to tell the difference between either of those. And last but not least, we have some good news regarding the charger. So as we all know, uh, for so many years now, uh, the iPhone uses the same low power five watt adapter. So uh, the charger is only five watt, meaning that it takes ages to charge our iPhones. Nowadays, that's the charger that comes in the box and we all hate it. And even though the new iPhones are compatible with fast charging, you would have to buy them separately. You'd have to buy uh, the charger uh, separately plus uh, the USB-C to lightning cable. But with the iPhone 11, allegedly we're going to have the fast charger in the box built in finally it's gonna come in the box keep in mind that this year apple will release a lot of new things so we're gonna see new software versions so we're gonna see ios 13 uh we're gonna probably gonna see the iphone 10r 2 which we're not sure which what's gonna be called uh we're also gonna see new airpods even though the airpods 2 were just released we're probably gonna do a whole brand new redesign airpods so that's already three big things uh, alongside with the iphone 11 but since this video is focus on the iPhone 11. I'm not going to go through a lot of that. I'm going to have different videos focusing on all of those things. So uh, the, the thing I'm most excited about actually is the iOS 13 because it's going to give a whole new look, a, a fresh new look uh, uh, with iOS. And we really, really need that. iOS looks the same uh, kind of since iOS 7, which is just ridiculous. And with iOS 13, we're not only going to get a new look, a new user interface, but we're also going to see dark mode, uh, which is something that we, we want for such a long time. And we're going to see better performance. We're going to see better multitasking. iOS 13 is going to be a huge landmark uh, regarding software. So that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a blast filming it. Now I know everything about the iPhone 11. You know everything about the iPhone 11. And of course, if there are new rumors, if anything new comes up, I'm going to post a part two of this video with everything new, everything that's coming and everything that has changed 
in the rumors realm okay so that's pretty much it if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button and after please make sure to put your mouse on top of this bubble on top of my face click the subscribe button and then after click on the little bell icon so then you're gonna be notified firsthand whenever i post a new video and then click on this video right here because i am sure i'm gonna love it